Hello everyone. Like all of you, I wish we were meeting in person and very much looking forward to catching up with all of you at this event next year. I know we all very much appreciate the work CTIA does on our industry's behalf. And I know we all believe in 5G. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how Samsung is fully committed to 5G in both the consumer and enterprise spaces. If you wanna see just how important 5G can be, look at the past six months. US mobile networks held up under extreme stress as traffic increased by double digit percentages. At the beginning of the pandemic, it rivaled the voice calls of Mother's Day and the texting of New Year's Eve. Now that has leveled out a little bit, but video, voice, gaming, you name it, across the board, mobile usage remains way up. Put another way, our holiday surge has become our everyday standard, and that's not likely to change. 98% of our users said their smartphone was their most indispensable device during the pandemic. Never has connectivity seemed more important. Never before has the promise of 5G become timelier. All due to its ability to support up to a million devices per square kilometer, speeds that are 20x faster than 4G, and super low one millisecond latency. <laughs> We've seen a huge increase in people working from home and the need for real-time video conferencing and chatting that make that remote work possible is not going anywhere. We're all spending hours on video calls all day, every day, to stay in touch with our colleagues, our families, and our friends. Connectivity is more important than ever, and 5G can help deliver better and high-quality experiences of staying in touch. I think we all know what a challenge it is when your video is grainy or you miss even a couple of words on a call. When you're joining a call from your couch or your backyard and need a high quality mobile connection, we've developed a great partnership with Google Duo, which now supports up to 32 people at the same time in high definition quality, exclusively on our 5G enabled devices. It's a great experience. 5G offers everything we need to increase productivity and follow our passions. It empowers us to stream our favorite movies, play video games with zero lag, and collaborate with friends on a project. It's not just an upgrade. 5G is critical infrastructure for the way we live and work. That's why, as we said at our recent Global Unpacked event, 5G is one of Samsung's biggest priorities for our mobile business, both in terms of B2C and B2B. 5G is clearly a priority for us all too. Consumers need fast, reliable, and secure devices, and they also need fast, reliable, and secure networks. And enterprises need these mobile solutions too. They need the connectivity, the high speeds, the low latency, and the capacity to connect coworkers, partners, and clients to revolutionize their industries. At Samsung, for nearly a decade now, we've been investing heavily in 5G, just as we did with 4G, 3G, and 2G. Today, we provide not only a robust portfolio of 5G devices, but solutions more broadly covering 5G components, chipsets, and network infrastructure. Plus, we have a growing ecosystem of partners comprised of technologies, innovators, and leaders, enabling us to accelerate 5G's path forward. I think that makes us pretty unique. We're also supplying infrastructure right now to major carriers globally and in the US, including millimeter wave, mid-band, and low-band 5G. This includes virtualized 5G network solutions, helping operators roll out 5G in a simpler, more flexible way. And it includes our technical leadership in open radio access network standards. Most recently, we're proud to have expanded our long-standing partnership with Verizon to advance their next generation network evolution and continue delivering on breakthrough mobile experiences for Verizon's customers. And on a global scale, we're committed to developing and bringing to market the solutions that will help companies of all sizes reimagine the way they operate and the way they interact with their customers, the way they do business, all by flexing 5G's muscle. 
Let's start with the enterprise, because it's an example of how the 5G market will make an impact across industries like healthcare, education, construction, and agriculture. In a recent survey, 75% of manufacturers expected 5G expenditures to increase or stay the same, even while IT spending overall is down due to COVID-19. When it comes to manufacturing, Samsung is one of the largest in the world, so it's a space we understand very well. We've partnered with IBM, the Singapore Infocom Media Development Authority, and telecom provider M1 to showcase 5G-enabled 4.0 solutions in Singapore and IBM facilities around the world. These smart factory solutions use 5G-enabled AI analytics to enhance processes around inspection, maintenance and quality, while augmented reality capabilities empower workers to carry out their tasks in real time at a safe distance. Closer to home though, we are working with AT&T to see how 5G can potentially transform training, safety, quality and efficiency and help U.S. smart factories. We're doing that through our 5G innovation zone at Samsung Austin Semiconductor Plant an advanced manufacturing facility that supports nearly 10,000 jobs, where Samsung builds a range of advanced chips, including the 5G modems for our millimeter wave base stations. With 5G-enabled technology, manufacturers can minimize equipment downtime, improve safety and security, reduce defects, and make the most of automation, AI, and IoT. Now we're working to deliver secure private 5G networks to the places where people work and visit corporate offices, industrial facilities, shopping centers, hotels, and stadiums, where we'll bring all new consumer experiences. Because what's next is bringing 5G indoors. And that means getting millimeter wave, the fastest of the 5G spectrum bands, inside with our new portfolio of indoor 5G equipment called Samsung Link. We've gone from having our phone in our pocket to having the wireless equivalent of fibre broadband in our pocket and in our car and in our office and our commercial spaces. So in many exciting ways, enterprise is leading the way. But in recent months during the pandemic, we've seen needs changing as home networks get clogged with people video conferencing from home, people streaming movies and gaming, all competing on the same network. This huge increase in video chatting is an example of how dependent we are on a high quality connection to keep in touch. Gaming is another. Just in the past few months, we've seen a 75% year on year surge in bandwidth for gaming. People say that 3G was great for pictures and 4G was great for video. Well, 5G is great for gaming. It will revolutionize the way we play video games, letting us play from the cloud and on the go, all but eliminating lag, and accessing the same speed and efficiency on any of our 5G devices. That's why we're so proud of our partnership with Microsoft, bringing cloud gaming to mobile through the brand new Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I think with our high resolution screens, processing power, pro-grade cameras, and of course 5G, Samsung devices are purpose built for gaming and streaming too. Whether you're streaming a game, watching a movie, or on a conference call for work. This is true for everyone. If you think about where we live our lives, it's about shifting between entertainment and productivity. Simply put, we need 5G for both. The success of our 5G priority is clear. In Q3 2020, Samsung's five flagship phones swept the UCLA device category with the fastest median download speeds in the US. And 5G deployment is just getting started. Its adoption is expected to progress even more rapidly with 5G mobile subscribers in the US estimated to more than triple every year for the next four years. We have made it part of our mission to help democratize 5G. We've been leading consumer electronics manufacturing to put 5G in people's hands. And this year, we've continued to build a 5G device portfolio that includes all of our flagship phones, foldable devices, as well as many mid-range phones. And now the first 5G connected tablets in the US. 
by offering across the board. We've taken the 5G decision off the table so you can focus on choosing the device that's right for you at the right price point. And we're very proud of that. We're supporting carriers to deploy 5G as rapidly and broadly as possible so the US can remain at the forefront of innovation. To do that, we need to continue support of government partners. And I'll focus on three key needs. First, spectrum remains vital. The US is behind some parts of the world in mid-band spectrum, but the recently completed CBRS auction and upcoming C-band auction will help us gain ground. Secondly, network deployment is still heavily influenced by how receptive local governments are to new infrastructure and their ability to modernize and streamline their zoning and permitting. And thirdly, governments should stimulate the market by being an enterprise user of 5G for applications like logistics, training, transportation, and emergency services. At Samsung, here's what we see. 5G is our digital future, and we see that future clearly. And we see it in use cases right now. But we can do more. We can put 5G in the hands of more enterprise users. We can put it into the hands of more consumers too. We can overcome any of our challenges and we can expand its reach and its impact. The ability to do that, the ability to realize the digital future is in our hands. We look forward to working with you to realize all 5G has to offer.